Hello, Eagle fans. This game preview is brought to you by G. Allen Incorporated, and what an exciting one it's going to be tonight as the Eagles take on an old CIAA rival in Johnson C. Smith in meeting number 70 between the two programs. I'm Chris Hooks, joined by the head coach of the Eagles, Mose Risen. Coach, fourth season here at North Carolina Central, about set to get kicked off. Um, a lot of excitement here at O'Kelly Riddick Stadium tonight. I tell you what, a lot of excitement, and we're glad to be here. And I tell you what, uh, we waited a long time for this 2010 season to kick off. Tonight's a beautiful night, and I know the players are extremely excited about playing. Can't be more excited about playing on a Thursday night. Uh, the crowd's going to be excited. We're going to be excited. I mean, just uh, there's a lot of um, momentum for this program right now, and it couldn't be a better night than to play here tonight. Oh, uh, no question. I tell you what, I mean, you know, you know, we, we waited a long time for this, and we're very fortunate. We have seven home games this year. Uh, we made this, uh, we moved this game to Thursday night for a reason. We wanted to have an opportunity to capture our student body before they went home for the weekend in terms of the holiday. We got a great crowd here tonight, and I tell you what, boy, it's going to be an electric night at North Carolina Central. When you look at the offensive situation this year, you're going to look to put, put more points on the board. Just talk about uh, Michael Johnson and his importance to this team on the offensive side. I tell you what, you know, My Michael's back now. He's an experienced quarterback. Uh, he's what we call a veteran now, and so he's had a great fall camp and uh, is a tremendous command of our offense. And I really look forward to Michael having a great 2010. Then you look at behind him and the offensive line, Tim Shankle, Tony McCord, two good running backs in their senior season, then your offensive line much, much bigger. Oh, I tell you what, the very versatile running backs. The running backs, not only can they run the football, but they can also come out of the backfield. Uh, both have tremendous hands, and so that's a huge plus. We're able to do some different things with them. The offensive line now much bigger and stronger, and so the run game should be in great hands with those big boys up front. Defensively, Donald Laster, Calvin Hilly, and company really uh, uh, going to carry the load once again as being as dominant as they were last year. Oh, no doubt. The linebacker shape, uh, linebacker core is in great shape. Look forward to Calvin and Donald both having outstanding years along with uh, Terrell White of the defensive line. How important is it for this team to come out strong, fast in this ball game, get a lead against Johnson C. Smith, and keep them out of it early? Well, I tell you what, I mean, we, it's going to be exciting. I mean, we should come out and be ready, I mean, really ready and excited about playing here tonight so you know I think it's important we come off and we come out and we come and we play well early on and uh, we can take care of the football early on offensively and and make sure defensively we get off the field on third downs we should have a good night. Fans going to be really big into this as far as the home foot advantage that can really help you out on, on the sideline so to speak? Oh I tell you what we're going to do everything we can to create that 12th man in terms of our fans here at home and Eagle fans, we need you to come out in a big way and, and really make a lot of noise, especially in those third down situations and really get into the ballgame. Well, Coach, thanks for your time. Good luck, and, uh, and we'll be talking to you soon. Thanks, Chris. That was Head Coach Mose Rising. Eagle fans, you heard it right here. We need you to make some noise tonight and make the Eagle's Nest as loud as it possibly can. North Carolina Central, Johnson C. Smith coming up right now here at O'Kelly Riddick Stadium.